lot of film movements that have emerged throughout cinema, ranging from the likes of French New Wave and Neorealism to Hong Kong New Wave and Mumblecore. But there's one film movement that has truly intrigued me like no other. Films that have come out of Greece aren't anything new, but this specific emergence of Greek films aren't. What makes Greek weird wave films that are composed from the likes of Virgil Santhemos and Athena Zingari stand out are how certain themes are expressed. All of their films address universal themes like exploring one's sexuality, coping with death, searching for love, and dealing with illness but with a macabre twist. Dogtooth was the first Santhemos film that I ever watched and I was really unprepared for what I watched. I went into it blind and I really suggest you go into this film with as little information as possible if you haven't seen it already. And without giving too much of the plot away, Dogtooth deals with overbearing parents and their need for control. What drew me into the film was the cinematography, how the characters converse with each other, the way the adult children viewed the world around them, and how far parents would go to protect their children from the perceived evils lurking around them. Lanthimos has a way of making such a simple plot into a cohesive film that is nerve-wracking and at times humorous, and seamlessly blends themes of horror and drama. Dogtooth was like a film that I've never seen before, and what got me interested in looking at the rest of Lanthimos' filmography. The actual term, Greek Weird Wave, was coined by Steve Rose in 2011 and includes other Greek directors like Athena Singari, Panos Kutras, and Yanis Ekonomades. Films that fall into this contemporary style are different from typical black comedy dramas or quirky indie films, and I wouldn't call Lanthimos's or Singari's films quirky by any means. I feel like that's somewhat of a cop-out and a label people put onto films that are automatically deemed as abstract. While they may be weird, for lack of a better word, due to how characters converse with each other, By the way, any romantic or sexual relations between loners are not permitted and any such acts are punished. Is that clear? Can I have a conversation with someone? Of course you can. So long as there is no flirting or anything like that. That applies to Don Snipes as well. We all dance by ourselves. That's why we only play electronic music. Or unusual actions that characters find themselves in. A lot of these films from this movement are emotional and filled with social commentary. Some critics have brought up that the emergence of the Greek weird wave was a direct correlation to Greek's changing political and economic climate that occurred in the late 2000s. Although Lanthimos himself has stated the opposite, that he and other directors were able to access a lot of art cinema more than previous generations. But obviously there is a cultural thing. It's maybe Mediterranean, but there is a culture that is more open to certain things, with less restrictions and taboos, which may be Anglo-Saxons that other cultures aren't. Lanthimos often uses his films to address different areas of sci-fi, dystopia, and horror, and sheds a fine line between gore and humor to effectively show off a world and surrealist plots that he has created, with the help of his long-term collaborators such as cinematographer Themos Batakis, co-screenwriter Ephemus Filippo, and editor Yorgos Mavosavides. Special effects or over-the-top cinematography are hardly used in the majority of his films, and most of the settings that the viewer sees are composed of realistic environments with a muted color palette. Lanthimos often uses reoccurring themes mainly through the perception of gaining control and power, whether it's between an 18th century queen and two women that are vying for her attention, or through the lens of a teenage boy whose aim is to avenge his father's death. Lanthimos stated that he doesn't pay attention to the label of Greek weird wave but I do think it's important to at least acknowledge Greek directors who have created such a unique and cerebral form of art. Their influence isn't anything new, but it has inspired other lesser-known Greek directors in their craft, as well as American-based directors such as Riley Stearns in his 2019 film The Art of Self-Defense, which is my favorite Jesse Eisenberg movie and a film that I think didn't really get the attention that it deserved. Whether you're part of the crowd who loves Lanthimos' work or believe his work to be pretentious, there is one thing that cannot be denied. Lanthimos' worldwide acclaim has opened the door for critics and viewers alike to seek out other Greek directors, as well as inspiring up-and-coming directors from multiple backgrounds. And I personally cannot wait to see what Lanthimos does next.